Hi Bellas, it's me Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella, bringing you lips, lashes, and luxury. So don't mind that, that's Brooklyn. She's like literally right next to me and shaking <laughs> every once in a while, trying to get her position straight. But she'll hopefully be quiet while we do this tutorial and we talk for a bit. So I wanted to jump on here when I first saw it um, because I was so in love with Jordan's look on the Red Table Talks that I was like, oh my God, I've got to like duplicate this look. Um, and then I saw Alyssa Ashley did it. And I was like, oh my God, that's bomb. She looks just, you know, the same kind of coloring as Jordan. That's so bomb that she did it. It's like we were thinking alike. And then I saw Jackie Inez. Now, I'm not going to hate on my sis because she did a bomb job. But I'm like, oh my God, let me get this video up before everybody and their grandmother has this video up. And I don't get a chance to do it myself. So want to just chat with you a little bit about my thoughts about the whole thing and do a look that is reminiscent of the fly Miss Jordan, who Jackie let me know did her makeup herself for the Red Table Talk. You better go head on with your bad self, Miss Jordan. I'm not mad at you, but let's see if I can duplicate this for our caramel sisters out there. Let me know how we doing. So I just primed my face and I'm not going to go through every single step because you guys have seen this time and time again. So I'm just going to jump in and just talk to you guys while I put my face on, give you my thoughts about the whole situation and explain a few things because I think um, Jackie, Ina hit it right on the head, but I want to bring it on home because a lot of my young girls are out here emulating these people that they see in magazines and they think that, oh, they got the life, they're living the life, they've got access to so much. And in a way, you're right, they do have access to quite a bit but their lives are just as messed up as the rest of us if not more um, money does not change things and if you are unhappy without money you will be unhappy with money it doesn't make you happy um, and for all those that think that these girls have these charm lives and are leading this great life. Um, no, she has, she meaning Jordan, had access to a lot because her father worked for um, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which starred Will Smith. And I guess that's how him and Will got to know each other. And then the families, I guess, got to know each other. And so she had access to a lot um and from what she said in the red table talk it looks like her and um Jaden had a friendship and then out of that friendship Kylie came to be um friends with them and, and Jordan um Jordan and Kylie became friends through their mutual friendship with um, Will Smith's son, Jada. So my thing is you're friends with Jaden. Through that, you became friends with Kylie. Um, and good friends, like enough that she would tell you about her having a baby and um, just, you know, her sharing her life with you. And also 
giving you access to her business. Like they did a collective collection together. Um, she had then access to then go and do some other collections with um, I Lore and, you know, some other people. So, you know, she's had a lot of access to different things. Okay. So my thing is, and, and like I said, Jackie Anna touched on this. When everything hit the fan and, you know, you did something admittedly that you shouldn't have done. Okay, you're young. You didn't know any better. You went hanging out or whatever. You thought it was going to be one thing. It ended up being another. Okay, great. My thing is, if your friend, who is the sister of the person that you so-called wronged, why didn't she as a friend come and talk to you like why is it that you have to now email this person and you have to now um be on the red table talk to have this kind of conversation this should have all been happening behind the scenes so we don't have a clue what's going on there's a reason why she had to go on air to air out her story. And it's because nobody in that family had her back. And to the point where at one point, Chloe was, you know, seen like harassing her on social media saying, um, I blame her. She broke up my family. Like, really dog like how many first of all how many families you broken up mm. I'm a, why couldn't you call her and say hey i've got a problem with this i've got a situation where you know you were seen at um his house and it was late and you know you stayed till the morning and you know people are saying that you know you spent the night over there what's going on um and at the first hint of impropriety, yes, she probably should have reached out and been like, hey, FYI, I was hanging out and this is what happened. Nothing happened, but just want to let you know. But again, when we know better, we do better. Come on, somebody. And so I don't think that it was right on either side for them to take this to the level that it's been taken. Um, I really think in my heart of hearts that Kylie's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Yes, she wants to um, be there for her sister and, and show support, but if this girl is your girl, if this girl is your girl, you need to make it right with her beyond the media beyond social media beyond anything you need to go and talk to that young lady um i don't think it's right that you kind of like threw her out to the wolves i really feel like if anything she needed you in that moment and neither you nor your family members were there for her like how insane are are we as a culture where we are so quick to throw shame at the woman and there's no repercussions for the man he still gets to go off scot-free he knew better he shouldn't have had that young lady at his house but when you don't care you don't care and he's proven time and time again that he does not care about this young lady um, Chloe, I'm talking about because you're going to repeatedly just show disregard for her feelings by going out blatantly with other women, um, just, you know, kissing them outside and taking them to the hotel, what have you. Now, if you don't want to be with her, and I understand that they have been broken up for a while, but then why put on this whole charade 
back in on Valentine's Day with like giving her stuff and like, you know, making the world seem like you guys are together when you're really not. If you're really not, don't be. My grandmother always used to tell me, you either make number two or you get off the pot. Meaning you either going to be in it or you're not. But you're not going to keep waffling back and forth with this behavior. It's unacceptable. You did it to your first relationship. And now here it is again, um, your second relationship that we know of where you're doing the same kind of behavior it's unacceptable it's unacceptable and how she chloe can um handle that as long as she has is beyond me like i would not ever be in a predicament where I love this man more than I love myself. I mean, it's honestly a shame. And then to have this girl just thrown through the mud of social media and have her life trashed, have her, her family's lives trashed, to the point where her mother can't even go to the grocery store without getting this um, backlash is just to me, it's not fair and it's not right. And the whole cause of this then gets to go away scot-free because nothing happened to him. I said in the um, Red Table Talk um, comments, I commented like when is Tristan going to sit at the table because to my knowledge and again I don't know this guy from a hole in the wall nor do I care but from what I've seen and heard it looks like at least two people that he's done the exact same thing with um, where his you know lady was pregnant and then he then goes and steps out. So there's a pattern there. And I wish that somebody would explore that side of it. Because a lot of these young men think it's cool to have a baby mama and not have a relationship. Like, that's not cool, dog. Anybody who has a child will tell you it is not fun raising a child at all. It's not a, a bed of roses. You're going to go through a couple of things. So before you lay down with these people, ask yourself a question. Is this young lady a woman that I can see in my life for the next 21 years? If not, strap up, put a condom on, do something, go home. Hmm, there's a novel idea for you. I may have come up a little shorter in the friends category, but never intentionally. And I would never want to see my friends hurt or feel a moment of anguish or pain, especially not at my hand. I would never want to call that. And if I'm friends with somebody and somebody else is like trashing them, even my sister, you know, even if that happened, you know, with my sister or whatever, I wouldn't let that happen. Like, hey, she may have done something wrong, but I'm not going to throw our friendship away or throw her to the wolves because of it. I'm going to talk to her and, and find out what's going on, what, what the real is, um, before I do, you know, anything to harm our friendship or further, like, alienate her from the fold. I would never do that. So I just find it really interesting that 
at the first sign of turmoil with her so-called friend you know even if it's a friend by association you know you're friends with my sister but you know it's so facto you friends with me because I'm gonna see you you know when I go to see my sister nine times out of ten you're gonna be there at one point um, the young lady said she lived in the house with with Kylie so I know you had run-ins with her and I know you've hung out with her so my thing is how are you so quick to throw her out and prejudge her when just a couple of minutes ago I'm sorry a couple of months ago your man was doing the exact same thing with another chick so when are you going to check him and, oh I digress so I did say in the comments that Tristan needs to be at the red table and he does you know people need to hear from this dude I need to understand how you can destroy not one woman's lie but at least two that I know of and now you have a daughter. I don't know what you have with the first um, young lady, but you have a daughter now. So what kind of message are you sending to her about her future relationships with men? You know, because all this stuff that's going on right now will live on social media forever. Forever. Okay. All your daughter needs to do is Google it. And it'll be right there. Um, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona. This is the mini nude um, palette. I'm having mixed um, thoughts about it. I keep trying to see if it will work for me. And I don't know. It's just it's not picking up the way I thought it would. So I'm not sure if I really like it. But we're going to try it again, especially since this look is supposed to be really um, sort of like there, but not there. So we're going to try it again. See what Natasha got to offer me in this look. Um, so going back to what I said, um, I just think that they really just did this young lady a disservice by throwing her out with the bath water, you know? I just really think that they did not want to hear her side of it. And I think once Kylie and Chloe started getting the backlash that they got I think then they kind of circled back and I guess reached out to her or maybe you know talked to her or what have you but I know in the media Chloe had recanted some of the things that she said about her to the point where she said you know it's not her fault it's Tristan's fault he um he did this not her which is really what you should have said in the beginning but i digress nobody's trying to see you right now with that um with that behavior that you were exhibiting nobody is backing you up to say yeah it's jordan's fault because it really wasn't It really wasn't like no she shouldn't have gone there no she shouldn't have spent the night no she shouldn't have had her legs dangling or whatever the heck they were doing but she's young and like I said you're older than she is so you know more you know better so I really think that you need to ease up on her and talk to him like never take it to the guy I mean, never take it to the girl. You always take it to the guy. Why? 
Because at the end of the day, he's in the relationship with you. You're not in the relationship with her. You're in the relationship with him. So if there's a problem in this relationship, it's got nothing to do with her and everything to do with him and you. So take it to her is like junior high school, high school. That's kitty play. You know, you need to take it to him. He's the one at fault here, not her. Um, so I'm going to put some, uh, I think I'm going to put some bronzer on. Yes. Where is it though? Huh? Huh? Where is it? All right, here it is. I'm going to put some Bobbi Brown bronzer on. I'll take my other brush here. Just. Dab, 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 dab. Yeah, I, um, I don't know why she would have ever, like, brought it to Jordan to say she broke up the family. Like, that's just dumb. She called Auntie Jada and Uncle Will. <laughs> to have her back and and glad that you know she was able to have somebody in her corner to kind of advocate for her because she was really getting thrown to the wolves otherwise i really wish that we could delve into more of his point of view because, like I said, I want to hear what he has to say about this. Because he's the guy and he is the person that was in the relationship. So, did you not value your relationship enough to not have a party where you're inviting all these girls to your home? Like, sorry guys, um, I had to change the film so you missed out on me putting my lashes on and my lip gloss which i use a combination of pat mcgrath's flesh fantasy number no. four and the fenty beauty um oh yes it does fenty glow <laughs> there we go so fenty glow um is on top and underneath is a little flesh fantasy to give more of that um uh, just natural lip kind of uh, stain to it. I love that lip gloss. It is primo. Um, and then I just put the Fenty Glow on top for just a nice little glow. So, um, Auntie... So Auntie Jackie gave us license to put on a little highlight. Um, I think in Alyssa's she didn't use highlight, but I was like... I don't know. I think I see a little highlight there. So I was glad when Jackie agreed with me and put highlight on. I'm just going to throw a little bit of Fenty Beauty. This is Hustler Baby. Just throw on some of that. I'll put it up top as well. A little something something um so again i'm not here to say who's right who's wrong um i'm just here because the beat was whatever you think about jordan you cannot say her beat wasn't strong because that beat game was on point okay so hope i did it justice this is the finished look give me a thumbs up also, don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out the most. And you guys want to help me out, right? You want to see Brown Girl Bella grow and flourish, don't you, in the 2019? Come on, somebody. Help a sister out. Come on. 
Um, also, don't forget that I am in the running to hopefully become one of the inaugural class of the Sephora squad. Um, please, please, please vote for me and send me a testimonial. I will leave the link to do so in the description box below. Um, if you wanted to join, I think yesterday was the last day for you to join and um, collect your um, recommendations. So now it's just um, going to the panel who's going to make the first preliminary semi-final round. Um, so hopefully I'm in that company. I can only do that with you guys' help. So help assist out in that realm as well. Um, again, I love the beat. Hopefully you did too. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget when you subscribe to tap that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time that I upload. Um, for all you that are just catching up to the Bella Brigade, I'm going to leave somewhere over here one of my videos so you can catch up on all things BGB. Um, and until I see you guys again, deuces.